What's going on, beautiful people? Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and journeying with me. I'm so, uh, I'm just so thankful that you're here. And I'm so thankful that I get to share with you every single day on something that I know will ultimately benefit your life. Today, I'm going to be talking about the law of harmony or synchronization. This is an essential part of the laws of attraction, the laws of magnetism, so on and so forth. If you want to create or manifest the life of your dreams, then today's video is a must watch. The law of harmony is something that Jesus taught, that, that, that the, the Buddha taught, that uh, almost every great leader throughout human history has taught. Napoleon Hill taught this way back when every person that's really manifested the life of their dreams understood the law of harmony to some degree. Now, I don't see the law of harmony playing out in very many people's lives, but you absolutely can be in that 1% that, that knows what the law of harmony is and how to begin to use it in your existence. If you put it this way, if you're feeling sometimes sad, if you feel sad or angry, and then other times you feel really positive and joyous, then you haven't begun to use the law of harmony. If sometimes you feel like you just lack and, you su and you're suffering, and other times you feel like you're way up there on the mountain top, you're not yet understanding the law of harmony. And that's okay because that's what I'm here to help you with right now. So buckle your seatbelt. Open yourself up and let's get this party started. Jesus said a kingdom divided against itself will not stand. The law of synchronization basically says if you are not in sync, body, mind, and spirit, or let's actually go this way. Let's say conscious, subconscious, and uh, cellular consciousness. If you're not in sync, in harmony, in these, in these three places, then you're ultimately not going to be able to create very well or very good and the thing won't stand. What you do create ultimately won't stand. It will fall apart on you. Uh, business deals will fall through. Uh, relationships will come to an end. There will be so much havoc in your life. And so if you're tired of the up and down roller coaster ride that life has been up to this point, then this video is perfect for you. And the whole playlist of videos that I'll play, put right here is really gonna be an essential cog or key for you um, to creating the life of your dreams. Jesus also said, if two agree on earth concerning anything that they touch, whatever they ask will be done for them. So there is this, this is in essence the law of harmony. But we need to begin that what people have been teaching is if you speak it, you can have it. Speech is one part of the creative process. But what I need you to recognize right now is that our subconscious and conscious agreement is absolutely vital. We'll talk about cellular agreement at another time. Right now, we're just going to talk about that as a physical manifestation. Your, your conscious and subconscious agreement are essential, 100% essential, whether that is you wanting to, wanting to manifest peace in your life, or whether that's you wanting to attract the love of your life that is kind and beautiful, or wanting to create a billion dollars and attract a partners, business deals. All of this is possible, but you must begin to really comprehend and understand the law of harmony. Your body is simply the vehicle or energy suit, I call it the avatar, that is um, being, that is the expression of this conscious agreement. Your body is the energy suit that is the expression of your conscious, subconscious, and cellular agreements. Very easy, very easy up to this point, right? You got it? So right now I'm going to give you two steps, two things that you can begin to do to begin to practice or step into the laws of harmony to a greater degree. First thing is I would like for you to write down three areas of your life that you believe are in sync and you know they're in sync because you've actually seen the manifestation of these things in your existence. Pause the video, write them down right, right now. All right, step number two. I want you to write down three areas of your life that you would like to see in sync, that you know they're not in sync because, my God, the manifestation is crazy. And it might be at work. You're, you're rising through the ranks at your job, right? But you are really believing that you're going to be free to this job and be able to work less and make more money. Well, the laws of manifestation or the laws of synchronization might not be in, in full effect there. If you're having trouble with your coworkers, if you're having trouble with your wife, if you're having trouble with issues at home, then you need to understand those are three areas 
areas, now be specific, but these are three areas that you might not be in sync or in agreement within. Now, when you recognize the areas of your life that are not in sync, you can go in and recognize that you have an issue, that you might consciously be thinking, I'm going to create this kingdom. But subconsciously, it's your subconscious is sabotaging that conscious action. And so you go to sleep at night and you're really thinking, I'm really, I cannot wake up, wake up in the morning. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to love my wife and blah, blah, blah. But subconsciously, you're still seeing her through an old paradigm that's limiting or hindering the way that you're actually receiving her, the way that you're experiencing her. So you need to begin to first recognize the areas that you want to become in sync in. And then secondly, you need to start moving consciously and on purpose towards um, changing that subconsciously. Check out the video here on subconscious reprogramming, and um, and we're also going to do some videos on auto suggestion if they're not already out. If they're out, go to the playlist, watch the whole playlist. If they're not out yet, just um, just hang on; they'll be released very soon. So listen, here's the deal. I'm going to finish up with this idea: the laws of synchronization work. That you need to be in sync. If you're not in sync, you're going to have you're going to continually sabotage what you're wanting to create. So being in sync simply is that you need to recognize the areas you're not in sync and learn to vibrate in those areas. If you want peace and you're not manifesting peace all the time, I'm not talking about part of the time, all the time, then you need to give your energy and attention to peace. So I want you to right now write down one thing that you want to bring into sync today, that you want to synchronize today, consciously and subconsciously. Your subconscious agreement comes when you're, it is seared in your consciousness. And then you practice auto suggestion at and when you go to sleep, right before sleep, and right in the morning when you wake up, and then during meditation, you practice auto suggestion or mantras so as to begin to reprogram that subconscious to be in full agreement with what you consciously believe. Because we're too agree on earth concerning anything. It shall be done for them. I love you. Go ahead, like this video, share it with your friends and family. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Why? What are you waiting for? And uh, I hope you have a beautiful day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.